around. Okay. So we spoke about data management. Okay. In data management, we have covered the database uh, per service, shared database, and saga choreography, saga orchestration. Beyond this, also there are data management patterns. There are patterns called as CQRS, command query responsibility segregation and event sourcing. So event sourcing is one uh, important framework as well. Some companies try to uh, or use that, okay? Some companies use that as well. So in that, what happens? Whatever events are, uh, like let's say an entity or a state is governed by the, uh, is, is cre recreated, every time it's recreated. So what it means is that the way data is stored, let's say um, you had to update the product in a uh, database, okay? I'm not going to say that the product uh, or uh, directly I'm not going to say product X uh, change from this state to this state, okay, this value to this value. I'm going to store it as a set of events and event sourcing database, when I try to recreate, when I when I'm somebody's requesting it, I'm going to use event sourcing and I'm going to uh, do my updates to multiple databases or retrieve the data from the database. So, which, okay, anyways, what, what I'm telling you, you have to Put your effort, go and read about event sourcing. Okay. Few companies use that. Now uh, that that also you might you might have frameworks which allow you to do that. Um and uh, um it, it there is a, one more thing called a CQRS, command query responsibility segregation. So in that, what what the difference is that they separate the idea of executing the business logic from the actual idea of invoking the database. So the two are they, the two responsibilities are segregated into different channels or different you can say flows. So that way we make sure that uh, by using that we uh, commit the data to uh, database uh, possibly in a distributed transaction as well. Okay, I mean definitely in a distributed transaction as well. So that is where these two patterns come into the picture. Apart from this, also there are design pattern data management patterns. Like I said, it's a complete topic. Um, API composition is there. Okay, these are things which I know myself, and then. If you go to microservice.io site, you will find some uh, more names there, okay? And if you go beyond that, you might have some blo people's uh, blogs, which are uh, independent bloggers. So there is, you cannot say there is a standard uh, uh, set, okay? Somebody has published it saying that this is a standard Microsoft design uh, patterns only, okay? Microsoft data management patterns only. Uh, who knows people from, like, maybe who are there in this session might actually go and uh, create a new pattern. We don't know. This might, this might become popular, okay? Uh, so that uh, maybe it's, uh, or in a project that you're working, in a product that you're working, you might have a new uh, pattern by yourself. That's how all these patterns came in picture. People working in some companies, uh, they started using something or they applied one knowledge to another place and then they, it became an accepted uh, pattern for the uh, organization and possibly for the entire industry. So what I'm saying is this uh, names like database per service, shared database, Saga orchestration, uh, Saga choreography, uh, and then uh, uh, what do you say uh, in terms of uh, CQRS, event sourcing. These are all standard standard names, okay, API composition. So you can uh, refer this. You might find almost always same uh, kind of applications also, but somebody might have built something unique based on this. Uh, and then uh, there might be non-standard pattern names, people using different terminologies because uh, they might have different names, okay. So that that you can uh, once you know what's the concept behind a pattern, when you read it somewhere else, you'll understand. Yeah, this is a same thing or it's a variant of what they are using. So that way, uh, you have to put in the efforts. No as many data management patterns or identify the pattern in organization. That this is the way data is going to be updated. Now, what is right for me? Or I have some unique way. I know Saga now, or I know event sourcing now. How I'm going to do it? I will decide. Okay, for my, my organization, and then yeah. Like I said, anybody, this group also might go ahead and or who knows, create a pattern by itself, okay? That is that is the idea of the data management patterns. Now we have the topic of ops infrastructure. So whatever we spoke, now we'll be able to build Microsoft infrastructure. We will to understand, make decisions, identify what services to move to mobility to Microsoft service. And we build a demo of services. We build, uh, we know about DevOps, but then, uh, in DevOps area or in development area, what about our ops infrastructure? Ops infrastructure means security, logging, uh, okay. Uh, and testing doesn't come along with that, but how we will enable testing, uh, how we make it more testable, the microservices, okay. 
so that, that all those things in a way becomes might 